Hey everybody, Danny Rubino here with Windows Phone Central. I'm going to give you guys a quick tour of the brand new official YouTube app for Windows Phone 7 and Windows Phone 8. This app was controversially pulled by Microsoft due to a disagreement with Google a few months ago. That was after a major overhaul from Microsoft that enabled a lot of features. Now I don't have the original version here, so I can't do an exact side-by-side. -side. I've only had this app uh, for just a few minutes myself. However, I can highlight a few differences. When you load up the app, you're going to see it, uh, the UI looks pretty much exactly like the one that was pulled. Uh, you can tap up here for your account information, so it's WM Experts or old account name. And you can see you have things here like favorites, watch later, history, likes, playlists, uploads, and subscriptions. Now, there used to be an extra box right there that was for downloads. So you used to be able to download videos for offline use. It was a caching system. Uh, some third-party apps still actually do this. But in this app, it's been removed. You do, have, however, have uh, this upload section. So this, of course, shows you videos you've been uploaded to your account. Nothing unique there. But now you can go and upload a video directly. So there's a video of <laughs> my cat ready to be uploaded. And what's good, too, is you can actually upload this via... Um, Wi-Fi or cellular it gives you an option in settings you can choose a preference now I'm going to take a guess if you're going to do it over cellular it'll probably downgrade the quality between uh, HD to a lower resolution to save bandwidth that's how it works on iOS and Android I'm sure it's how it works here too now you go back to the main screen you have your recommended you have your subscriptions you can of course hit more it's going to load up that screen a little bit going over here you have trending now I'll show you one difference that's uh, been added to this app here. Uh, it's not loading this time. Oh, that's actually probably a pretty good thing. So, what I was going to try to show you was it actually plays ads now in front of certain videos. You can skip them after about three seconds. It's just like the online behavior when you're at your web browser. But for uh, some mobile uh, things here, let's see. I don't know if this one has an ad. Yeah, there you go. So you can see the ad playing. Now I can skip it if I wanted to. And so that's basically, you know, a change. It's not the end of the world, whatever. Google's got to make money. you got to respect that. Uh, scrolling over, you have your search button. Going down here, you can see you can go right to your upload, and you can upload directly. So you don't need to go into that menu system before. That's just another way to get there. You can actually do it a lot more direct. Going to settings. And you have things here like English, select region. You can select your video quality. So this does do high quality still. So that's important. Now it's defaulted to medium. So if you want HD, you want to go and change that. Uh, upload video over. This is what I was talking about before. Any or Wi-Fi. And then you have video hub integration, planner lock screen, enable live tiles. And of course, your safe search filtering, which is uh, you can you know turn that off if you want. If you want to watch your dirty videos but anyway that is the official youtube app you see you have some other things here uh, nothing else has really changed which is actually a really good thing the big change of course is windows phone 7 users get to go and download this as well and everybody in windows phone gets to have a good time with youtube so head to the windows phone store to go download this now it's completely free of course and you can head to wp central for more information take care everybody